Hi everyone and welcome to a Get Fit Over 40 video. My name is Michael Kay and today we're going to focus on back using the Total Gym and as always or in the last little while I've been talking a little bit about my lose a few pounds progress. Uh, progress this week was very minimal. Maybe even I went backwards, I'm not sure. It was a bad week for me. We'll just sort of scratch that whole week. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to show you before or sort of the sequence of photos. Maybe I will. We'll see. It's just life. This is what happens. It was a bit of a tough week. A lot of cheat days. A lot was going on in my house. And so what I'm going to do is hopefully strap down this next couple of weeks and get back to where I should be. Uh, like I said, it's, it's not a race. Um, I've got a fair amount of time that I can do this. I'm just trying to basically get in shape for summer. And summer's a long ways off, to be honest. So there's no real uh, race or, or timeline. I just want to try and get it done. So anyways, we're going to focus again here on back using the Total Gym. And I'm going to talk about some of the exercises that I use, that I do regularly for back. Um, I, I do other exercises in my gym. I do switch between Total Gym and other equipment. But I do like basically a solid week of Total Gym. And then I do a solid week of free weights, where I switch back and forth. Sometimes it's not a full week, sometimes it's a half a week, but I switch back and forth. And I find I get really good results. It's just a little easier on my body. And so we'll start off here. I did show you this exercise when I was doing chest, but I use it for when I'm doing back as well. And if I'm doing a back chest day, I'll just do it once. But if I'm just doing a back day or a chest day, then I will do this exercise both times. So essentially, you just do like an iron cross, nice and wide, try and keep your arms out. And as I said before, if you're doing chest, you're going to want to kind of stay back here in this mode, and that'll do your chest more. If you want to do arms a bit more, sorry, back a bit more, you kind of want to be a little bit more forward, and that'll do your back a bit more. But if you want to kind of hit them both, you just go right down the side. Go nice and deep. The deeper you go, the better it is. I'll do about 20 to 25 or so of these. Right now I have it on the highest level. Sometimes I'll add a little more weight. Right now I'm on the highest level and I have two tens per side, so I've got an extra 40 pounds. Now a lot of times for back, I'll add a 25, so I'll have a total of 45 pounds on each side, almost 90 pounds plus my body weight on the highest level. And I find that gives me a good back workout, so I'm not going to put that weight on today because I'm doing a lot of this stuff back to back. So the first one I do, other than that iron cross, is I'll do, essentially, this one is just like, it's almost like a, a pull down. And so I'll lean forward. I don't want to be too far back on this one. I want to be kind of forward. And I just want to do this. And I want to pull out. You can lean more forward. It just depends on your style and what you want to do. But this, you don't want to go like this. You want to go wide and pull out. Because there's no bar involved, you have to force your arms out. When you're doing real pull downs in the gym, you're usually using a bar which keeps your arms out. So you have to make it a mental note to yourself. Get your arms out. And then I'll take a little 20, maybe 10 or 20 second break. And then I'll lean forward, get right down, and same thing almost, but more vertical. Try and get nice and deep. My palms are down. All right, so that is the standard pull down, and then I'm going to do kind of a, a chin up style pull down, and it would be narrower. So same grip basically, and what I'm going to do is start out with a row and then move into a chin up. So, I'll start out with them cross, and I'm more up and down here because this is more of a roll. Again, 
get some good stretch on it. So just get your shoulders forward and then bring your shoulder blades together in the back. Remember, it's not an arm workout, so don't do this. Don't do this. Make your back do most of the work. Okay, and then I'll uncross my grips here. And I'll lean forward again. And this is where I get into the chin up portion. And you can do it like a chin up. You can pull it in front. So many ways you can do this. You can go down the sides. I kind of like to go down the sides. It doesn't interfere with the bench at all. You can really feel it under your arms. In your back there, right under your armpits. Again, if you have an injury or something, you can modify these exercises so that they're more comfortable. That's what I like about the total gym. You can really adjust the angles of things and how you're doing exercises. Okay, so next. This is pretty much the last one I do. I do other exercises when I'm using free weights, but this is a good overall back workout. So back on the on the board, on the gym board, arms up, palms down, okay, you can see how the grip is. And we just Try and keep your arms straight. I'm right there. You don't need to go crazy far. You can go right to about there. It's kind of like the iron cross in the way that your arms are positioned, but I'm just doing them right straight in front. And again, you can alter it a little bit. If, you're, if you've got some pain or something, you can go a little wider, like that. There's something going on in your shoulder, or who knows what. But essentially, you want to go straight up and down this way. All right. And that's it. That's my back workout using the total gym here. And uh, you can get a really good pump. I get a really good back exercise. I work out using that, and I noticed it's helped my strength even in the free weights. When I go and jump back and forth between total gym and free weights, I noticed that just by doing the total gym, it's really maintaining and even strengthening what I do in the free weights. So I know it works well. So uh, just keep keep using it. Uh, keep trying some of these exercises I'm showing you. It takes a little while for you to get used to them, for your for your uh, muscles to kind of get used to them, and also for your muscle memory and how to actually do them and become efficient in doing these exercises. Don't expect them to feel comfortable the first time you jump on and do one. Take some time. All right, so thanks again for watching another Get Fit Over 40 video. And don't forget to check me out at getfitover40.com. You may find some other articles and posts there as well. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care.